this is a eureka moment. It's a pen, like the penny finally dropping. It's a moment of revelation. The kind of instance that can change a life's direction or begin a revolution. Perhaps you've had such moments. This statement brings me back to some old time gospel movies where when out of nowhere this shaft of light beams on some lovable rogue in the back pew accompanied by the hallelujah chorus. The concept comes the concept and the saying comes from a story of the early church in the book of Acts after the Gospels. Saul was a high ranking Pharisee who was breathing out murderous threats to anyone who followed Jesus. He was carrying letters of authorization to capture and imprison and even exterminate those Christians. But as he journeyed near Damascus, the, 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 the scripture says this, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up, go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. This was a turnaround moment in Saul's life, so much so that he got a name change to Paul. You can read the story for yourselves in Acts chapter 9. Blinded by the light is a similar phrase that comes from the same story. Saul was made blind temporarily until he met Ananias. The Lord said to Ananias, it says there in verse 15, Go, this man is my chosen instrument. Proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. See, Paul saw the light. It was revealed to him who Jesus really was. God repurposed Paul from a gangster persecutor of believers to a zealous propagator of the faith in, in the known world at the time. He'd been impacted greatly by the humble nature of Jesus, who took the very form of a servant and laid down his life for even himself, who Paul described himself as the worst of sinners. What changed? Surely it has to do with Paul seeing the light. Jesus had described himself as the light of the world, or John the disciple described Jesus as the true light that gives light to everyone. So this revelation of seeing Jesus as he truly is both captivated and revolutionized Paul's life. He saw Jesus for the first time. He acknowledged him as his king and his lord. He met him personally as God recommissioned his life to live for Christ and not for himself. So convinced was he that he readily suffered imprisonment, all kinds of suffering and even shipwreck in the course of serving Jesus. He spoke fearlessly and worked tirelessly to spread the fame of Jesus to others so that they too could see the light. He encouraged all of us to walk in the light, to live in the freedom of sins forgiven and the clarity of vision of seeing who God, who Jesus truly was and, w and with a fresh purpose of living for the Creator. Perhaps you'll consider with me to ask God to show you the light and to join Paul in shining like stars in these dark times. I'm your host, Matt Tuttle, to be a Bundoran Bible Reflections. Have a great week.